Hello guys, Sean Thompson here and welcome back to another video. Today we're not in the truck, today I'm moving out of my family bedroom and moving in with my girlfriend. <sighs> Let's get into it. Now obviously I used to do house removals long before I started doing the trucking, class 1 trucking. So hopefully this should be a good day for me. It means I can finally do a day in the life of a removal that I always wanted to do but you couldn't really do it because it's obviously people's personal stuff but in this case the personal stuff's mine so I should get away with it I'm out of breath already and I've, all I've done is run up them stairs I'm not ready to be a removal man again Alright, first things first and big jobs first we're going to have to put all these back in their boxes now, it's quite sad and kept the boxes, I've also got more in the wardrobe But I'm, I've not got them all, but I'm basically going to box all the ones up I do, I think I have all these ones Maybe some of the older ones We'll box them up and that way they're best protected For the move Here's one, I've not even had the pleasure of taking out a box yet Because I knew I was moving Conroy Look at that Big in the fridge game Oh man Oh, and a phone call. So I don't know if this will make an interesting video or not, but pretty much all we're doing is obviously grabbing a box. As you can see right now, we've got the SNT F10. Going over to the unit, finding the F10, putting it in the box, rinse and repeat. As you can see, I'm very, I'm lacking for content now. The lorry's off the road for MOT. There ain't much else to record. All right, so we're pretty much through it. Obviously some don't have boxes, whether they've been thrown out or I haven't found them yet. Maybe they're hiding somewhere. But we've got the majority of them boxed up and that was the biggest part the rest is all pretty easy that's the thing i kind of care about most if that without sounding i don't know if that sounds horrible but you know this is my aye anyways right last but not least we have a spikes lorry or a lock winnick motors um big low loader there so let's go ahead and, uh, and get it done and there you have it splits out nicely and that's the last one needing boxed all right now it's just a case of putting them in boxes how nice does that look? That one's the longest one, that's obviously Loch Winnock. The rest will just kind of sit flat and flush, like so. And then for the models that unfortunately don't have a box, just go ahead and grab a wee bit of paper. Two should do it. Kind of like grabbing a fish supper. It's quite hard to do with one handed. Fold that round, fold that round. Nice and protected. I'm going to do it a lot neater than that. One handed is very hard. Anyways. Alright, we're getting into a bit now. We got two boxes packed of models and uh, trophies and such for the walls. Sorry, I need to stop touching that mic. Obviously, all the trophies uh, or awards that you still have here, all the awards there. We're slowly getting through it. It's, uh, it's emotional though, I'm not gonna lie. Every time I'm taking something down, I'm a bit like, ah man. End of the day, I've been in this room, <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm now 24. I moved here when I was 11. No. I've probably been in this room for the best part of 15 years. Maybe even longer. All right, now we're onto the Funko Pops and look at how well they go into a box. We've done just that unit there. We've still got ones down there and the ones up here. Now I used to collect these when I was younger and basically I'd get maybe, I think it was like 15, 20 quid a week in um, pocket money for doing chores around the house. And one of these would roughly cost about 15, 20 quid. <laughs> and that's pretty much what the money went on. Either that or a game, it was one of the two. But I want to take them with me because if I ever do set up a wee shed outside or something, I'd, I'd like to have all this. Um, no, I mean, I feel a bit sentimental today. I don't know if this will make a very good YouTube video. I feel everyone's going to judge me after this. <laughs> Alright, as for Lego, I'm just going to put it in as it is. You know, taking wee bits off, just going to packaging it around. I don't think I'll be in this box anytime soon anyways. But there's no point in dismantling all the sets because I'll probably never ever build them again in my life. Alright, so I'm just trying to cut out as much of the boring stuff as possible, but here we are. We're, get, we're getting there. We're just going to move this shelf unit out just to give us a bit of room because I'm going to need to move the bed and everything over to get into that back uh, thing, which I think a lot of it's going to be for the bin. It's all kind of 
I don't know what's in there if I'm being honest. I honestly can't remember. But aye, we're getting there. There's a bit of extra room. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Also just took the Hue bulb out that I had before. Um, so I can put it in the box with the rest of the Hue stuff. So that's maybe why that light isn't the best anymore. Plus we've lost the natural light. Aye, good. Well, now for one of the biggest pieces of equipment. The computer. Look at the size here. Let's get it out. Oh, it gets emptier and emptier by the minute. Jeez, he beeps, man. Slowly getting there, but just seems like it's getting more messier. Obviously, we're starting to attack this. This is just where I kind of store stuff. Um, I'm not really one for getting rid of stuff, that's my problem. I always think I'll find a use for it. But uh, here's the stuff we're keeping obviously, units, all the stuff we've boxed, all that jazz. And we'll just start binning stuff. There goes the phone. Aye, good. As you can probably tell, it's the next day. There's a lot happening. We've moved the bedroom, all this stuff from God knows how many years. Two Z peeps, man. Ben. Ben. Keep. <laughs> it doesn't look that much, it's just furniture and that's the little boxes there. Jesus Christ, and this is a cupboard. I've not been in this cupboard before. Oh. Ages. I don't even know what's in there. I'm pretty sure it might all pretty much just be for the bin, to be honest. Alright, so I lost the GoPro and decided just to use my phone. I don't know why I wasn't speaking, but here is all the rubbish we're getting rid of. And here is the room back to normal. We've of course spun the bed around and then loaded all the rubbish. So we took that to the yard, then off obviously offloaded it into the compactors. And they got crushed into a million bits. It's the cheapest way to get rid of it. And of course Phoebe saved a toy. Alright, so it's day two and it's time to pack. The girlfriend's house here in Girvan, the van's parked, we're in the colony, can't see nothing, but eh... Uh... Aye. I'm keeping that, I've got a long way to go. <laughs> Cheesy peeps, man. Empty boxes. We're getting through it. We're getting through it. Hi, good. Oh, there we are, slowly getting through it. We've just had another model delivered as well. We a few James removals. <laughs> I just kind of help myself out, but we are getting through it. Yeah, we'll still get the kitchen to pack. We'll do that at a later date, though. But we're getting there slowly but surely. 
disclaimer, we're in the middle of decorating this house. Right. So that we can get it ready for the rental market. Why oh, you got to say market? It's so posh. I'm ready to let, so that we can get it ready. To find a tenant to move in. A tenant that's even posher. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're re you're mad at me because I, I walked up the stairs without explaining. No, just, just say. <laughs> just say, just say, that we're ready to let them move in. Yeah, just say that we're decorating. These walls definitely haven't been like this for. Been like this for two years. Exactly. Because I never got round to finish decorating them. There we go. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> good. I'm gonna leave the missus to do most of her stuff just cause, well, I don't know what to bin and what to keep so it's better to let her decide that but aye, working on that room now, all this is nice and packed up, ready to go but aye, it's not bad eh, it's not bad, it's scary times as well though I don't know if, honestly, not sure if this will make an interesting video and if it doesn't, I apologise but it was either that or I just didn't put out two or three videos, the next couple of videos you'll see are going to be different to just trucking videos but it's just while I'm off work over this kind of festive new year period you know, it's, it's either that or just up upload content so I good? <laughs> oh, I don't know I don't know how I feel about it all but I'm sure you'll let me know but aye, that's going to be it for this video this one's really just about packing and then the next one should be us loading and actually going to the new house which I'm excited about. Right now it is a Saturday morning and we move on Wednesday so it's going to be very very exciting. But thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoy maybe a different type of content, a new type of content, I don't know. But yes, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. I need my lorry back, hopefully we all want along with the MOT and the preventative maintenance.